mountainous places mzee wa ilinga mtu anashi ya ingine nae na kumanda land forces tu anama natuwa wali shahidi ya tia show ukala ngarengi chitoni kakse ya kusese ilike enyamu asana haka tika telewe yiko hajia habishu wa doli miwa nae na uyono honorable minister unarubu kwa istisi ya biyayi wamusha kuluwaka wa honorable minister in support of the vigilante system but for the start they don't need to have guns they can they can do intelligence Vigilantes, but with intelligence, to give intelligence to them. Because I think we have enough forces, but with the time we have full, the forces are not enough, then we can, we can, the government can also do it. But so far what the army needs is intelligence. Because you can imagine, if the army, if these people attacked 300 meters from the, 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 the ambush of the army, it implies the army had already got intelligence, but they didn't know the actual crossing point. Now, we need now to strengthen that. So Mobilizing the community. About to have another real challenge. So I shall go to the Senate, 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 because it's the easiest route. Uh, to equip ROCs with the defensive mechanisms, and uh, in the past, even ROCs were given were given guns. Now all those are interventions now, which probably need to be studied, and we see how we can rejuvenate them. But obviously, Mchaka Mchaka is also about national ideology. For people to know that it is their responsibility to protect, to assist the army and all security organs to protect them. It's not uh, it's not solely the responsibility of the army. So in this wisdom, I got to bring a call, but I'm going to go over there. I mean, this is a very different number of things. We're going to have to go over there. We're going to have to go over there. So in this way, if we are at the rate, then we don't need to system. We're going to have to go over there. You don't need to politicize security. Because when the rebels are killing, they don't ask whether you are NRM or FDC or NUC. They just kill a human being. These are terrorists. They, they are trained to kill, to maim, to terrorize. They are not like the normal forces who are trained to guard, who are trained to protect people and their, and their property. Not at all. For them, they are trained to kill, maim, and, and cause pain. That's, that's the training they get in, in the name of religion, in the name of whatever ideology they, they, they believe in. There are some politicians who are using it in order to attract people's attention because they are maybe they have no time to go and have such big gatherings. They, they get an advantage of funerals and weddings to go and tell what they feel they want and which is not true. And my humble request now is those politicians to do what they are supposed to do. Let them go to the community, account for the period they have stayed in office rather than taking them and telling them lies. Yes. The security personnel, Baba Pitrati, on any one of our so many years, it took us to the Columbia region, our promotion, and our number of us, our two number of our two, or even the commander of our two, Katusau. I've just emphasized that ROC three chairpersons are the, the, the chairpersons of security in the Asabu counties. And I also emphasized that they should give us reports, much as they have been sitting, but they have not get, been getting their what? Their reports. And those reports will assist us in when we are compiling a report, then we, we, com we compare with what we have and theirs. We are on ground. And then we should involve ROC ones in a quarterly basis to see at least and share challenges. The local leadership in the two and then in you, to let them go, Muria in Maya, Mukari Kiria, it took a little in the Ambera. I would request the government to see that we reactivate the system of the, the vigilantes or LDUs. Remember in 1995, the 1996 ADF incursion. It is uh, the vigilantes, the LODs, the crime preventers that helped us very much. Because these are the local citizens that know each and every corner. So when UPDF, 
the police come on ground, they show them all the directions. The issue of Muchaka Muchaka comes back. We are really local leaders, but we need to be politically or militarily awake. We have requested for at least a mass training course to see that really when any other situation comes in, we are ready to be on the forefront. We are being heads of security at sub county level, and yet you don't have say, the, the military skills also does not sound. What we are asking government to help us with is to allow us have or rejuvenate, reactivate the vigilantes and the LODUs and the ex poachers because most of these people are very conversant with the terrain and they know this, uh, these other paths and roads that uh, the rebels are using because they are the same people that helped us to wipe out the ADF when they attacked in 1996.